Hello and welcome to the next lesson in our AS level physical geography course. Today we're going to be looking at deltas. A delta is effectively a feature of deposition that happens when the river reaches its mouth. So this is what we're trying to show here. This is the river and this is the lake on its right. Now this part is where the river then enters this lake. I've drawn on an imaginary dotted line to show where it happens. So we can say that this dotted line and the lake is the mouth of the river. So the river here is at its lowest velocity, it has prob well, probably at its lowest velocity, it has the least amount of energy it has always had in its whole journey, and it's now depositing its material at the lake. So now we're starting to get deposited material. When the water enters a body of water, the velocity, and therefore the sediment carrying capacity of the river, completely decrease because of the lack of energy. This then makes the material that is deposited here to be deposited at the start of the body of water which it's entering in because now it has no more energy. So this is why at the beginning we start to get all these rocks and sediment and particles of dirt start to form right here. Now because the rate of deposition is greater than the rate of the removal of sediment or erosion, the load then settles in the delta. And when it settles, we get this area here. We get a lot of sediment which is now settled on the actual uh, body of the water and as a result when the river then comes through it we start to get these distributaries where the flow may come straight through them and into the lake so as a result we get now breaks into this new formation of sediment in the actual river and as a result we get these flows of the river through it now over time these can build up and they may start to look like land but this is what a delta is if this bit of sediment and the water can then move through them. So eventually we may get to this. Now imagine the river is actually flowing through here. This is a 3D model of a cross section of what it would look like. So we have the river flowing into the sea which is going to be the body of water. Now the particles are going to settle in beds which are going to vary by size. At the bottom we have our bottom set beds and these are probably sometimes the larger particles which settle at the bottom and the smallest particles that can travel the furthest um, due to the low amount of energy they perhaps the larger particles don't actually require them to be taken so far because it's a lot harder to carry larger particles if you have less energy so right about here we probably get very small particles however around here we get very large particles because there isn't enough energy to carry them but the particles we find on the bottom of the actual, uh, probably the bed of the sea, are called the bottom set beds. Then we have these medium sized particles, kind of, which settle in the middle of the bed. These are the ones which are then settling on top of the bottom set ones. And then very much at the top we have the top set beds, and these are the particles which are now settling on top of the four set beds. Then we get this formation of the actual um, delta itself, which we can see up here with the distributaries moving through it towards the sea. And then below that we have all of our beds, which are all the particles now settling on the sea floor, or the body of water, wherever you're travelling into. And this is the formation of a delta. Here are some questions on the formation of deltas. Pause the video to give yourself time to answer these, and do them on another sheet of paper, so that you can't be looking at your notes. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on braided river channels. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you need any extra help, visit revisalevel.co.uk or check out the channel and visit all the playlists for whichever subjects you need help in. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.